Welcome to Rushby Town, Cambridge. We are here today because we love our gadgets, but also because we want to educate the next generation. What was for the child? Is the child the child to mess around? Well, of course. <laughs> So Evan Upton, we've just been at a rather exciting Raspberry Jam event in Cambridge um, and you've just given us some news about how well that's doing. Just, just tell me. So it's, it's doing incredibly well. We've had to ramp up to a point where we can build these at a rate of about 4,000 a day in order to meet demand. And there's a hope that there's still a backlog. Even, even now there's still a backlog. And there's some hope that at 4,000 a day we might start to work the backlog down. We're very hopeful we can get to the point where you can buy one of these and have it arrive next day. And how do you assess what the demand is going to be for the rest of the year? How big is this going to get? It's really, it's really difficult. I mean, I think it's a problem for everyone who's involved, just trying to predict uh, whether we, you know, there's an iceberg and we don't know whether we've, whether we've seen the whole iceberg or whether we've seen the tip of the iceberg. What we do know is that to date, about half of our units have shipped into the UK across the, across the two distributors. Um, so that implies that... Um, we haven't really broken North America yet, for example. You know, there's, um, there are, what, five times as many people in the United States as there are in the UK? So even if we can get to the point where we get the current UK rate of adoption in the US, we know that there's probably half a million. There's half a million right there, even without doing anything else, just taking the current model and rolling it out. So we'll see. And what about the rest of the world? You, we heard there about projects in Africa, in, in various other parts of the world. Well, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, one of the things that we, one of the things we emphasize with the, with the Pi is that it's a, it's a peripheral for your television. It's like computers from the 1980s. It's, you know, the television is the thing, and this is a thing that you plug into the television to get some more value out of it. In the 1980s, people you know, used their computers in the UK in that way. Um, there's an enormous burgeoning middle class in the developing world who just bought their first televisions, um, we think the same sort of dynamic that drove the adoption of the ZX Spectrum and the Commodore 64 and the BBC Micro in the UK is going to play out elsewhere in the world. So there's really the sky's the limit. Um, and what about other developments? Is, is that the final version that we're seeing there or, or is something different coming? So this is, the, this is the final version we have planned at the moment. Uh, we don't have plans for, for, for future versions. There is an intention to obviously to case it for um, education, and there's a lot of work going on on the software side. Uh, until recently, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of low-hanging fruit we've been able to claim on the software side. So somebody who used a Pi back in April and who and who used the same machine today with the new operating system on it would see, a, in some cases, a fourfold in, in improvement in performance. So a lot of our effort is going there rather than starting to think about new hardware platforms. But you, you just made an announcement at this meeting about the camera. Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, the foundation is not intending to do many add-on boards for this. There are lots of third parties making interesting interfacing boards. However, there are two boards that the foundation is intending to produce. One of them is a camera board and the other one is a display board to like, connect a flat panel display to it. The first of these would be the camera board. We've, we now believe we have pricing on a 5 megapixel sensor. We believe in the next, maybe in the next three months, we'll be able to offer a twenty to twenty-five dollar five megapixel camera module for this device that'll let you record high def video. So you would just plug the camera in there via this one here, right? And it, that would instantly become not only a computer but but a video camera. Yeah, a reasonable quality stills camera and an extremely good digital video camera. Do you sit here thinking? wow, when you look back at what's happened over the last year. <laughs> yeah, it's been an amazing, I guess, what, it's now about 14 months since we first spoke to you about this. Um, yeah, it's been, it's just, just completely crazy. You know, I think as, as late as Christmas of last year, we really thought we might sell 10,000 of these devices. And so to be sitting here with over 200,000 of them in the wild and plans to try and get to a million by the end of the year is just incredible. And in terms of the actual objective, which was to change the way computer science is taught, in schools or to really bring computer science into schools, still a lot, a lot to do on that. There's an enormous amount to do and one of the nice things about the community we've been selling into to date is these are the people who know how to program computers already, adults who know how to program computers already, who can do the work that's required to bring educational software onto this platform and to bring really, really good tools and teaching material. But yeah, there's a lot of work to do before these are in the hands of every kid. And meanwhile, you've got 200 of those with you to sell at the meeting. Do you think they're going to go? I think we, I think we might manage to sell a couple. <laughs> uh, raspberry <laughs> Pis for sale. Get your Raspberry yes. Pis here. Is there a cash point in the building? <laughs> Sorry? Is there a cash point in the building? I am afraid of... I have no idea. <laughs> there isn't, I'm afraid, no. Um, 
Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> no, 